Hello out there, comic book lovers. It is Friday. So you know what that means. I'm doing my Friday night reviews. I am going to take three com three comics from the previous Wednesday. So the three, what I thought were the best, and do a review of them. And then I'm going to take the one that I liked the least. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad, but it's the one that I liked the least. And uh, check it out. And welcome back. Let's go for number two. The second best that I liked this week. Now this was a tough choice. I had to really kind of debate which one I was going to pick. But it came down to this. Batman number 104 is the number two. You have this cardstock variant. It is written by James Tinian IV, who is doing so much better than Tom King ever did. And uh, sorry, I'm going to have to do this light thing again. I know it doesn't look good. And. Uh, Ryan Benjamin and Danny Mickey Bengal and G U I L L E M M A R C H Mark as artists and David Barron as colorists. So this picks up where 103 left off with Batman. Harley Quinn and Clown Killer being captured by the mysterious person from Batman's past, uh, who is almost kind of a 180 degree difference from Batman. Which I guess a lot of his villains are. I know that's just kind of generic now that I think of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But he's not like a Joker. He's not like a Deathstroke. But he is. You don't know much about this person. But he's coming into... Uh, uh, he comes into Gotham. He, you know the Batman knows him. Judge, judging by the way they've spoken to each other. And you've gotten a little bit of insight into their history together until this book. So they are captured. And you have him uh, doing... You have Batman, uh, Harlequin, and Clown Killer on a table. And he's, he's saying, look, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you see the light. And then you move on to Dick Grayson in Bloodhaven talking to Barbara Gordon, who is now back to being Oracle. And she's explaining, like, look, Batman's been off comms for you know three hours. I don't know what's up. And Dick Grayson's like, I'm coming back. And in the conversation... Dick Grayson explains what little he knows about the relationship between this guy and Batman. So this is basically a let's uh, finally reveal who this guy is type of issue. But it doesn't feel like it. Because, you know, you're, you're getting... The answers to a lot of the questions that you want, but it's not this huge info dump. is done at a really good pace, and it switches back and forth between what's going on and in the past, in the present, and what happened in the past, and uh, then it leads up to the cliffhanger. At the end. 
which I do not want to give, but it involves Batman, Harlequin, and the Clown Killer. I know people have said that there are many Batman writers who are better than James Tinian in the fourth. Danny O'Neill, uh, you know, Grant Morrison. Some people might even say Scott Snyder back in his prime. That may or may not be true. It depends on your taste. But I'm really enjoying what Tinian the fourth is doing with this book because he's taken it in an entirely new uh, entirely new direction. And he's involving so many of the other uh, Bat family. You know, Cassandra Cain. You have uh, Barbara Gordon. You have Grayson. You know, this one even mentions Damien and a couple of other people that don't show them. But they're, they've been in the past couple of issues. And I'm sure they're being set up for the next couple. And it's, he's incorporating all this other stuff and taking Batman in an entirely new direction. And I'm enjoying the hell out of it. So I'm going to give this a 4.25 out of 5. And say if, if you like Batman and you haven't been, been reading this before, get it. Because it is so good. The only thing, the only gripe I have on this one, and it's minor, is... The art on it has been so good up until recently. George Jimenez has been doing a fantastic job, but he's not on this issue. So I got kind of spoiled. And you look at this. This, in my opinion, isn't as good as George Jimenez's work. Right here. So, I mean, that detracts, but not enough to give it a lower grade. So, like I said, 4.25 out of 5. If you've stopped getting Batman and you're wondering where to pick it up, this is it. All right, let me know if, what, if you agree with me. If you don't, uh, in the comments below. And uh, talk to you later. Enjoy your comics.